Now it's time to move on to WrestleMania 27. Yes. Uh, uh, Edge versus Alberto Del Rio. I, I forgot to mention, but uh, uh, 26 was actually in uh, Arizona. I forgot to mention that earlier because I'm an idiot. And <laughs> now we're moving on to the Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia Dome. Okay, so are you very familiar with Alberto Del Rio? I am not. Alberto Del Rio is uh, kind of like the inverse of Manifest Destiny. He believes that he was born and chosen to win the world title. And he's a pretty good heel. Like, like he goes on about his destiny. Goes on about how it was like everything is made for him to take the title. When the gods above wrote my name in the stars with the power of destrucity, Hulk <laughs> Hogan. <laughs> uh, it's actually he's he's a weird inverse in that uh, once he's held the title, he became face. Really? Yeah. Being a benevolent champion, and uh, you know when he lost the title, then he's just back in back into is is my destiny mode. Oh, really? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, w a match we won't see at WrestleMania, I believe it's twenty nine, is Alberto Del Rio, the champion, uh, versus uh, Jack Swagger, who calls himself the Real American, whose gimmick is that he is Tea Party xenophobic. Okay. And I guess he doesn't get along uh, with oh yeah. someone named Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio. What's that? And he doesn't get along with someone named Del Rio, I suppose. No. No, no. Okay, just Del Rio in the, uh, in the uh, automobile here? Yeah, okay. he's rich. Okay. If you need another reason to hate him. Okay. But yeah, Jack Swagger's... Uh, he certainly looks confident. Xenophobic. Yep. Jack Swagger xenophobia gimmick was pretty hilarious. It comes with its own um, warning right before they cut the promo. Yeah. Like the views of Zeb Coulter, <laughs> who's Jack Swagger. The WWE, What's that? Like, are, are not representative of World Wrestling Entertainment or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the same promos, uh, the same warning sticker that appears before um, any match with Chris Benoit in it. <laughs> Hilariously <laughs> enough. WWE does not promote or support the actions of Chris Benoit. Okay, now which is, there, is really weird. Now, are there any titles on the line? Uh, yes, the World Heavyweight Title. Again, despite Alberto Del Rio, very clearly a very muscular person, not what I would call a heavyweight. At least not at least not compared to other guys who would also be heavyweights and not not, not in the WWE, you know, the Big Show, yeah. Mark Henry, the Great Kali. Well, he's pretty. He's billed as being six five, although build weight is only two thirty nine. Yeah, so he's not like super huge. Well, yeah, but the, yeah, like I was saying, the Great Kali, Mark Henry, Don't and the sure. Big Show are all like four hundred plus pounds. Occasionally more than twice his weight. <laughs> yeah, his his entrance just does not have the same swagger to it when there's no music. <laughs> Interestingly, but uh, yeah. Um. Go ahead. Bo both uh. There was actually there was a uh, there were actually two uh, dark matches on uh, WrestleMania, on WrestleMania uh, 27. There was a, a lumberjack match for the uh, WWE US Championship, and then there was just a 23 man battle royale. Hmm. Why 23? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Hmm. Yeah, Cody Rhodes wrestled Rey Mysterio. Randy Orton, most of CM Punk. Michael Cole with... Oh, Jack that is... Michael Cole with Jack Swagger defeated Jerry Lawler. 
I won't even ask. Undertaker, Triple H. Oh, we're actually going to see that one. Mm hmm No. And how it's worth. No how prize for who for guessing who wins that. <laughs> now, what are your objectives here? So the first one is to hit Alberto Del Rio with the outside dive, which is just a dive to the outside. As the name uh, suggests. As the name implies. Okay. There we go. Well, he fell anyways. Now, Edge. Was Edge, was he one of those vampire yes. guys way back when? Yes. The Brood? Uh, oh, shit. Like what was the ta tag team called? I think they were the Brood. The Brood, yeah. It was Edge, Christian, and... Um, Gangrel. Shit. Gangrel. What's his name? Yeah, Gangrel. And uh, he he actually had the, the teeth filed, I think. The fangs. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. And they would drink not uh, red liquid. What was never officially blood, but yeah. And then they'd do this thing where they would um, uh, bloodbath someone when they were leaving or yes, entering the I ring. The lights that. would go out, yes. and they just get, like, scream, and then they get covered in blood. God, that was such a cool, such a great. Uh... Did they end up? Didn't they end up being part of the Ministry of Darkness or something? Uh, I want to say yes. Oh, fuck. But I couldn't tell you. Oh, cross arm breaker, no! No! That's, this is a real hold. This is an MMA hold, I think. Yeah, well, the cross that looks like an arm bar, yeah. Okay, let's see if... Wait, what the hell happened to my finisher? God damn it. He must have stolen it. It is kind of weird to think that what, like, Edge and Christian, like, their gimmick at one point was they were vampires. <laughs> um, they, I think I saw something on the network about it recently. They were talking about it and how uh, Edge still has the music for, their entrance music on his phone. Really? Yeah, and he's like, to date, it's one of my favorite gimmicks. Wasn't there some sort of, was there some sort of, like, copyright thing? Because, like, I know, like, Gangrel is also the name of, like, a type of vampire in the, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, the, uh, the RP tabletop RPG. Was that some sort of tie-in, or was that... Um... I don't know. I don't know if you can, re like... Hmm... That is a good question. I wonder if Gangrel is in the public domain, though. Yeah, kind of like uh, maybe Dracula. It's... Yeah, I was going to no, say. No, maybe... Dracula's not. Is it? I think at this point it is. But, if, I mean, if, if maybe a Gangrel is some sort of mythological creature in folklore or something, in which case. Although, I don't know, depending on the way trademarks work, if you could claim, it might cause brand confusion if you, if someone else is... I, I am not an IP lawyer or any other sort of... Lawyer, That's true. But... I don't I don't know how it works. It's very possible that they could have had to stop. Or I don't know or maybe I don't know maybe it was like some sort of intentional promotional thing. I don't know. I kind of enjoy the idea of like pen and paper RPG companies doing tie-ins with pro wrestling. I would love to like I would love to see a a pro wrestling pen and paper RPG but I know it would be ridiculously complicated. I'm pretty sure there is at least one. Huh. Yeah, there. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's. I think it's called Know Your Role, actually. Know your role. 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, brief aside, um, I play World of Warcraft on the side with some of my friends. I, like, I'm not really big into it, uh, but, you know, they, they really enjoy it, and it's a way of kind of playing when, you know, they're far away. Um, my my character is a, a Tauren uh, druid uh, named Ric Flair. Uh, <laughs> if, I could, if I could have, I would have given myself the nickname... The Nature Boy as well, which I can't. Uh, so instead, I'm gonna have to settle for a title, and I'm going to look. I'm trying to earn the title, the Undying. Okay. So, well, like so Ric Flair. I will be the Undying Ric Flair. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um. But uh. <sighs> shit, I had a point to telling this. We were. What were we just talking about? RPGs. Pen and paper RPGs. Ar- and Gangrel and. Shit! I had a reason. Now I can't remember. Okay, yeah, yeah. There is a uh, the, the, there is an offic- official uh, licensed WWE uh, RPG. Uh, called oh, oh, now, role. yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Because because you said know your role. I was in a, a a dungeon, and in the dungeon you have different roles. So uh, like, since I'm Ric Flair the Druid, I had I was the healer. My friend was uh, damage. And this other guy was a tank, and this other guy was doing really bad, and uh, he's like, uh, "I'm not dealing enough damage." And so I said, <laughs> "I said in the public chat, know your role or shut your mouth." <laughs> <laughs> and this other guy went woo. Apparently, it was D20 system. Apparently, I have no idea how that would work. That, You're going to have to link me to this so that I can look it up. That seems like an odd choice. Yeah, D twenty. I don't imagine would work very well. I mean, that's. I mean, that's like you know, like sort of you know, the Dungeons and Dragons third edition. Yeah, and Dungeons and Dragons third edition has notoriously difficult grappling rules. <laughs> <laughs> like incredibly, incredibly complicated and intricate grappling, <laughs> grappling rules. Like if I remember right, I think there's like a thirty-page booklet on grappling. <laughs> So that's a really strange choice to me. <laughs> so, all right, so Bob, you want me to? What, we're creating this role-playing game now. This, the rule system we're using for for this wrestling game. Does it have any weaknesses we need to? I need to know about. Um, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, the D twenty is a cheap public domain license. What are the downsides to using it for this wrestling game? Uh, it has the most complicated <laughs> grappling system ever. Perfect. Are there like, are there like character levels and classes? I wonder. I don't know. Y- you have the computer. Well, I, I, I have to play WWE 2K14. Available now in stores. <laughs> Actually, I th- it came out some time ago. I don't know if it is available in stores. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Look it up. Uh. Alright, so should we move on? Okay.